gallons of a city trash can. I don't know how many gallons this is, but we have it set up to where the water, we rerouted the, um, what do you call those? The gutters. And then it comes into here. You see the screen was already installed. So this debris doesn't get into your water. And I don't know if you can see it, but do you see the water, the reflection of the water? This thing is full from one day's rain. And I am so crazy excited at how much water we were able to save because rainwater for plants is absolutely amazing. I think there might be four or five inches of free space in here. And if it were to rain again, and you get a lot of rain, it does have an overflow valve that goes into where the gutter used to go, where the overflow for that goes into the ground. But look at all this rainwater. Rainwater is great for your plants. It's full of nitrogen. I want to show you something um, because it rained and my plants have responded to it quite nicely. So I made a video the other day because the squirrels had dug up my raised bed because I hadn't covered it yet. And so in that video, I covered up a raised bed and you can see my plants in there. There was spinach and I'm looking at it so I can remember what it's called and Georgia Southern collards and black magic kale and some giant red mustard and what kind of, some something else. I don't remember. If you go watch the video, I name it all. But since then, like I said, it rained day before yesterday was it yesterday it was yesterday it rained yeah we got that rain yesterday I'm not good with time but anyway I want you to see the difference in the size of these plants it's amazing y'all look look at that spinach you see that spinach let me lift this up look at that spinach you see how just is my hand for reference okay you see the size of the spinach leaf in my hand it's humongous this is I want to say noble giant spinach i think that's what it's called and behind it that's the kale look at my collards let me move around so you can see my collards look at these things they're humongous they were not this big the other day when i shot this footage look we got a whole close-up on this one in the last video look at that mustard it's so beautiful y'all it's just it's so pretty but yeah i just wanted to show you that rain water is great for your plants which isn't a surprise it's the rain but look at it it's so beautiful so now i'm excited i can hook my hose up to the rain barrels and use that water so i came back to the rain barrel to show you this is where i would hook my hose up right here you just twist this let's see oh rain water and it comes out i'm so excited i'm such a dork <laughs> but i'm so excited about that rain water you guys have no idea but yeah and that's gonna go on my plants and i don't have to worry about the chlorine and the city water you know killing all my beneficial bacteria and fungi i still will have to use you know the water from my hose but i don't have to use it as often so i'm excited it's a great way to conserve water and protect your waterways from runoffs <laughs> Depending on where you live, you can get a rain garden installed or at a discount. Just check around, call your local county or municipality, your town, whatever type of government, city, I don't know what to call it, but whatever place you live, check with your local government and see what they offer because lots of places want to go green because it's expensive to have to clean up the environment. But look at all this water. You see all that water? I'm trying to pump it. You can see me looking at it. Can you see me waving? Hey, water. I'm so excited. But anywho, I just wanted to share in my excitement about the rain barrels. I forgot what they were called. I told y'all I'm forgetful. Pray for my brain. I'm tired. It's been the longest weekend ever. Oh, 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 and I was walking around. Let me show you. First of all, let's look at this. Do you see this kale? This kale looks beautiful. Now, you see that? It's bolting on me, but I don't even care because I'm going to eat these leaves because this is last year's kale so I will take these overwintered kale plants and I can start new ones if I want to but yeah I'm gonna get these leaves and I'm gonna dehydrate them but look at how big it is that's great to get a head start on green season because I think this one's new this one might be new it's itty bitty I don't think this one's overwintered I honestly I do so much sometimes I just don't remember I just don't remember but this is 
red Russian kale. Isn't it pretty? A lot of these things, if you feel like it, you can put in pots as ornamentals because they're beautiful. But yeah, look, it's great. Carrots have germinated. I planted these with my kids. So look, all the seeds went right here. Nothing right there. <laughs> and then there's some seeds right here. Not much over there. This one, all the seeds went in the middle. Nothing right there, but they did such a good job and they're so excited they were just out here with me to see their carrots growing. And I think what I'm gonna do is put cucumbers on the opposite side so that kind of works out. So I'm not wasting all that soil. And then our potatoes, look, you see that? Let me get down close. They're in grow bags, these are. You see my potatoes poking through? These are russet potatoes, some. Was it poking through in this bag? Yeah. They're poking through. There it is. You see that? Those are potatoes. I'm so excited. So most of my potatoes went in a raised bed across the yard. Let me shuffle on over. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. You hear the birds talking? Birds spend a lot of time making a lot of noise. I didn't really realize until we moved into this house just how much noise they make. But they seem to have a lot to say in the evenings. But anyway, here, look at the potatoes. <laughs> Patience for the win. Look at them. They're coming through. They're hitting the sunlight. They're putting out their leaves right away. They're nice and short and stocky like we want them. I'm so excited. There's an itty bitty one right there. Here's some more right here. Like they look good. I got potatoes, y'all. I got potatoes. Well, I got potato plants. We'll see if I get some potatoes. Now, one thing I am a little concerned about is my onions. Normally, I multi sow my onions. And I did multi sow my onions. And I put them outside. And then I forgot they existed. Then they ceased to exist. So now I have no onions. But what I did do was direct sow onions, which I've had success doing that in the fall. But in the fall, it's not nearly as dry, which normally we don't have a spring that's this dry. So I've been watering my beds pretty closely. So let's look at my onion bed. It's not looking good. See that? Nothing. It's been so windy. It's been so dry. I don't know if they're in here or not. You know, onion germination rate takes six to twelve days according to Google. I'll check the back of the seed the back of the seed packets just to make sure I'm not missing something. They might pop up, they might not, but that's what onion sets are for. If they don't pop up, I'll just pop over to a local nursery, get onion sets. These over here, these are itty bitty onions. I forget which variety. But those I multi sowed and then I planted them, which is what I was supposed to do with the rest of them. But these guys are nowhere to be found. Let's go look at my other onion bed. But oh, in other news, you see that? That's a volunteer potato. I have volunteers. You see this? That's a volunteer potato. I think you're a gardener when you get volunteers. Is that does that make me a real gardener now that I have volunteers? I'm so excited. And I have a lot of volunteer tomatoes too. My compost went cold on me towards the cooler part of the fall and I think some of those seeds survived. Um, I got a lot of random tomato plants popping up. I feel like Jessica Solwitz <laughs> from Roots and Refuge. She's always talking about her volunteer tomatoes. Oh, here's my on your bed. Hold on, let me show you. You see this? That's where the squirrels dug it up. Nothing. Nothing at all. Every now and again, if you see like a little green thing, it's a random weed that I need to pull. But I don't see nary an onion. But they might come. They might not. I'm not going to stress about it. Gardening's supposed to be fun. So when things don't work out, we assess, we learn, and we strategize for the next season. I'm not going to stress out because my onions didn't sprout because I have a lot of things that are going right and a lot of things that I'm still learning as a gardener. So it was fun putting them down there. I was thankful for the rain. I've been watering them. I'm going to be patient because that's probably all that's missing. It's usually I'm just too impatient. But anywho, I think that's everything I wanted to show you. My strawberry plants look okay. Let's look at those. So here are my strawberry towers that I made. 
So these are strawberries from last year that I transplanted. They look good. Some of them, not so much. I think the weather's been so fickle here. I mean, some days it's hot, some days it's cold. So I'm just trying to leave them alone and let them establish themselves so they can regulate themselves to their new environment. But like you see right there, can you see? Let me turn around. Can you see it? Be kind, focus, there we go. That's our strawberry. We just can't eat it yet. Oh, here's a better one, like right, oops, focus, right there. That's gonna be a strawberry. So these are the seascape variety. Some of them seem to be doing really well. Others look like they're struggling. But then you come over here and it's like, oh, hi, I'm doing just fine. So focus, there we go. Some of them look like they're doing just fine. So I'm just gonna leave them alone because even in the, the ones that look a little worse for the wear, focus, thank you. That's new growth. So I think I just need to leave them alone. I probably loved them just a little too much with the water. But this one is Flavor Fest. These were planted, see, I labeled it. That's my goal for this year is to label, 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 label. These are Flavor Fest. I planted them on March 29th. Some of them look better than others, but that's new growth, that's old growth that died. So I'm just believing they're gonna do what they know to do. Like that one looks terrible, but look, there's a flower. I don't know, go figure. We'll see what happens. I've only grown strawberries one season or flowers. So I'm not a strawberry expert. I do know that if I plant the strawberries, I'll get some strawberries. And if I don't plant the strawberries, I definitely won't get any strawberries. So I'm always going to opt to plant and grow and learn. They're perennials. They'll settle in place. If they don't show out this year, they will likely show out next year. So anywho, I'm trying to check. This is another. Those haven't poked through yet. I was checking on some potatoes. I learned that two pounds of sweet potatoes is a lot of sweet potatoes. Um, I put some in here too. They're just down in this burlap, but these haven't poked through yet. I think they just have more soil on top. Let's check the other one I have too. This is my garlic. Look at my garlic in the middle. Garlic on the edges. Thank you, Arctic Blast. I think you killed my garlic. Garlic on that side, Arctic Blast. But the garlic in the middle that was more insulated is looking fantastic. And I tried to mulch, but the wind keeps blowing. So I'm just monitoring moisture levels. Yeah, there's nothing in this one either, not yet. But I think they have more soil on top because the bag was more full when I did these. So it just kind of fell out. But anyway, that's an update from my garden. Thank you guys for stopping by again. I'm looking forward to a season of plentiful, yummy things to eat and dehydrate and preserve for my family. I will bring you all along for most of that. I would love to say I'm going to show you everything I do, but life gets lifey sometimes, so we got to make choices, right? So anywho, you guys take care, and thanks so much for stopping by my garden. If you are new here, please consider liking and subscribing. I really do appreciate your support, and I try to be as authentic as I can be, show you what works, show you what didn't work, share what I learned. Um, I'm also on Instagram at Natasha's Garden. Make sure you spell my first name right. It's N-A-H-T-A-S-H-A. -H -H Otherwise, you won't find me. Um, but yeah, thanks so much for stopping by. Y'all have the best day and happy gardening.